So we have found something exciting outside of our house, which is crazy. This kind of just fell in our laps, which I'm excited about this, but also very scared. Let me tell you what it is. <laughs> so we found about four or five fairy circles or fairy rings in our front yard. Now I've never seen these in person before, so it's very, very interesting to me, especially because I did a video about this whole thing like, I would say about a year and a half ago. So if you guys wanna watch that video before you see this one, definitely go check it out. But for a brief summary, I have a little summary here. It says, it is believed that the circles were formed by shooting stars, lightning strikes over the work of witches. These beliefs persisted into the 19th century and did the warnings to not stray into a fairy circle, lest you be transported to the fairy realm. So people say that if you see a fairy circle on your property, it could mean that something supernatural is around, which is fairies, and to never step into one, or you'll just be transported and never come back. So. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously the logical explanation is that these are just naturally formed fungus circles. Yeah. But to me, they're magical. So we're gonna go outside. We're not gonna bring Winnie because I don't want her to look at them and think she can eat them because she's still a little girl that doesn't understand that not everything is a toy. We're gonna leave her in here, otherwise we're gonna have some problems. Potentially. <laughs> she will eat the entire fairy circle and we don't need them. All five of them if you had the chance. Yes, all five of them. So we actually did have a lawn mowing company come yesterday, so they might slightly be damaged. So Ty will show like what they looked like yesterday. So you can kind of see that first because they might be a little bit less there now. So just a bit of a closer look for you guys. You can see that we have one circle starting here and then there's just that one and a little tiny one over there. And then over here, got another one starting. And then we have another hidden over here. And yet one more over here. It's obviously what mushrooms do. They kind of spread out in the middle of the night, but there's honestly no indication of this happening until it happened. It's a little weird that it just kind of popped up. So we're gonna go see how much is left because the mowers destroyed them. So now are the mowers gonna have bad luck because they destroyed the fairy circles? Well, I don't remember them necessarily leaving, so. <gasps> they got transported. Maybe they were like, oh, what's this? And they like dipped their leg into it. And now they're gone. But then their truck should have been here by now. I yeah. guess they might have just driven the entire thing. Maybe the fairies were just hiding the evidence. <laughs> you stay here, Winnie, okay? We're gonna go look at the fairies. You stay. She's not gonna stay. No. She's like, no, I'm coming to eat the mushrooms. She's farting. Winnie, no. Good job, Winnie. You gotta stay here, honey. We'll be right back, okay? I promise, I promise. Oh, she's stinky. We got two more pumpkins, by the way that Ty got from the store, so we kind of have like a pumpkin decor piece there, which I love. It lights up. So here's one of the circles. It's kind of like a not fully formed circle, or was it yesterday? I don't even know. I'm pretty confident there's actually more today than there was Is yesterday. Is there more today? Oh my gosh. So they're all clumped and they're almost evenly spaced out, which is so creepy. The circle is starting. That's exactly what's happening. And by the way, the mosquito eaters are still mating all over the grass. So we're like disturbing their like area here. Sorry guys. Look, there's two mating in the middle of the fairy circle. Guys, you're gonna be transported. They're mating in the middle of the fairy circle tie. Nobody mentioned that crane flies would get transported. They might. You're testing fate there, guys. And there's another one over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many crane flies. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like mating in midair around us. Ugh. Okay, so here's another circle right here. I almost want to step in one, but I'm not going to. I don't, don't. want to like, why well, you're nervous? Well, both for like, you know, the magical regions and also you shouldn't really be messing around with fungus just in general. Well, I wouldn't step on them. I'd just step in the middle of them. I kind of want to, but I'm not going to, cause I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. That's a, that's a lone one. He doesn't have a circle, but there's another one here. This one's a little less of a circle. Oh my gosh, there's so many times. More here. That's 
even less of a circle. They're quite literally everywhere, Jess. Over here. Oh, this one's a big circle. Actually, it's like an oval, but they just showed up overnight. So it's extremely weird. Let's go back inside. All right. I'm so freaked out. I see you were waiting for us. I'm pretty sure Winnie's our anchor to let us know that we didn't accidentally step in when she's here with us. Unless this is the fairy world and we don't know it yet. Did you step in one? I almost did. You almost did? Yeah. I started walking forward and then I kind of just stopped for a second. Okay, what if I want to go to the fairy realm? You just said it's a bad thing. It is, but what if they like me? I don't think they will. What if they do? What if they do? I don't think personality is going to get you anywhere. Not about personality. Like, what if they're like, oh, you know what? Like, you... You're cool. I guess that's my personality. Okay. <laughs> so I talked about this on Twitter and a lot of you guys responded to what you think this means. Someone said, it's a calling. The realm of magic needs you. Like Harry Potter. Or are we talking Magic the Gathering? Someone said, sounds like the king of the Fae is trying to take you away from Ty. No, we're not. We're not gonna do that. Stop him. It seems to me that they really like you and your house. Maybe it's a blessing. Although they can be tricky and it's best to stay on the safe side until you know what you're dealing with. Some advice from a witch. Don't do anything to invite them into your house unless you're prepared to deal with them. Don't accept any gifts lying around like strange rocks, bones, pendants, and other small trinkets. Never say thank you. The Fae aren't like they are in the movies. Yeah, I know, like real fairies are actually very dark and uh, violent and don't like humans at all, which is very sad because they're so pretty and I like them. And you still want to go hang out with them? <laughs> kind of, I kind of do. The Fae being desperate because of the baby witches trying to hex them? Baby witches? You see little toddlers with like witch hats like walking around? <laughs> what are baby witches? So those are all the ones I'm gonna read, but you guys are like, you're making me afraid, but it's also funny too. So this is the jewelry I found at her front door for some reason. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding! I'm joking. You guys know I've been making jewelry, so I wanted to show you my newest line, which I've called the Dark Unicorn line because all of it's like very dark. There's the black unicorn pendants and they look really cool. They're actually matte black. Let me show you guys up close, over here. So this is the matte black unicorn pendant. I have made a total of five of these. So only five are available right now in my Etsy store. And the beads, as you can see, depending on which way they turn, they're either black or this really like, how do you describe it? It's almost like the oil spill. It's kind of like the oil spill. Yeah, and then it has this black chain, so that's, one aspect of it. And then I also made these little charm bracelets that have those exact beads. And they're just so cool. Like, I love the way they like flash in the sunlight and stuff. So I made only two of the charm bracelets. And then I made with the same like chain and the same interesting like beads there. I made how many of these? three of these earrings. So all of the stuff I do is very limited quantity because I don't want to make like a hundred of each item because I'll get bored. I want to make a very small amount that I love making and then every piece is like unique to everybody. Well, kind of hidden behind you is the stash for further launches, but we're not going to focus yeah, on Yeah, I can't show much. you my other stuff yet because I do one launch at a time. You can probably catch a little corner of it, but that's, that's all you get. You can't see yet. So this is going to be up right now. If you want to check out the link in the description, I'll have my Etsy store and I'll also have my Instagram account if you want to go follow that because everyone is informed on that first. I tell them they're first. So, uh, yeah. And if you get one of these, definitely take a picture because I would love to see you guys wearing, like, my jewelry. Even though it's all messed up right now. I have to lay it out nicer, but it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We'll keep you updated on what happens with these fairy circles. Unfortunately, I was talking to my dad and he did say that we should probably try and dig them out because they will start to affect our lawn in bad ways because mushrooms multiply and one day our whole lawn's just gonna be these white mushrooms everywhere. You don't wanna live in the mushroom forest? I kinda do, but like, <laughs> we're probably gonna have to take them out with a shovel, which I hope they don't curse us. We'll see. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in our next one. Bye. See you guys.